Okay, um, in this problem, in this problem we're looking at it, and uh, what we can determine is um, we don't need to replace our f of x in for that, right? We already have a y there, so it's going to be good. Next thing is let's just swap the x and the y. Okay, now let's evaluate, solve for y. So the first thing to do is undo the subtraction. Okay, well now, oh crap. Now we have something we're like, well, now how do we undo that squaring? We're going to have to do what? Oh, square root. Yeah. Very good. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, though, whenever we take the square root, we have to make sure we include the positive and the negative. So now I'm going to have plus or minus the square root of x plus 3 equals y plus 1. Okay, then I subtract 1. So I'll have a negative 1 plus or minus the square root of x plus 3 equals y. Then I replace my y for g of f of x. So, well, I don't have a g of x or f of x. So I can say y inverse is going to equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of x plus 3. OK? So we don't have the f of x or g of x this time. So we just have y. So you're just going to replace it with y inverse equals that point. Is this, one? this would have been one of your harder ones, yes. May I? Well, you're not taking the square root of a negative number, so that's why we want to include the i in this case. Remember, i is only